Once again, this is Joe with the Strutter Roofing, and I'm going to show you here a video of a new installation, new construction, and this tile that you're looking at here in the border here. This is a handmade Alhambra, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the detail here that we're doing. We're doing the two-piece bullnose. All that's going to be filled in with cement, and uh, let's take a look at what the guys have done here so far. Also, that drip you see around the edge, that's all copper, uh, two inch copper drip edge. What they're doing here, they're laying the first course, the pan. This is a two-piece barrel tile. It has the bottom pan and then your cover pan that you see there. We'll walk around the other side and I'll show you what the finish is looking like. All those lines you see on the deck, that's where we center our tile so everything is lined up in the center. So that bottom pan sits right in the center of that line right there, that chalk line. This is what it looks like. They did this side already, the hip, in the valley. All right, let's walk around. Some guys are doing some mudding, mudding detail. We wash all the tiles off to get all that dust. That way the cement will stick properly and adhere better to the tile. Let me show you, he's doing some mud detail here. Once the valleys get cut, they get filled in with cement, like you see here. Ah, 
¡Ay, jodidito! ¡Te cacheteé! All right, here we're going to show you they're doing the, the cover installation for those pans that you looked at. Both sides get foam where it's going to actually sit on top of that pan. All right, you guys seen that. Let's walk around the rest of the house and see everything that they have installed so far. This is a very beautiful tile. You can see that color, this coloration of different uh, tiles here. These are all oven baked, so they get a different reaction when you bake them a little bit longer than the others. And it gives you that bronze tone. Beautiful, beautiful handmade tile. What they're doing there, they're putting on the cover pan they're cementing this, both sides of the cover pan. I'll show you what it looks like. This is all the cement that goes on the cover pan on both sides. This side here, same as the other side. That just waterproofs that deck. There is no water. Even rain-driven rain, uh, rain is not going to get underneath your tile or in between it. This is that detail earlier, the valley that one of the guys were cementing. This is what it looks like once it's all done. This house got a flat deck on top here. This is where their AC units are probably going to sit.
this ridge metal you're looking at here purpose for this metal once this ridge cap tile the pan sits on here normally they blow off if they're not adhered properly so now new code you put this ridge metal in it gets foam there's foam applied right on top of it so this pan would adhere to that foam to that metal and then it gets cemented on the side that's just a way to keep that towel in there without it blowing away in a, in a nice windstorm there you can see the foam underneath that pan as it expands Okay, there you have it, the installation of this tile and some of the finished product. I'll come back in a, in a day or so and we'll look at the, the complete finished job, what it looks like all when it's all have all the cap and all these areas. But uh, once again, this is Stuarter Roofing out of uh, South Florida. You guys have a good one.